Hey there, everyone. This is Sarah. And this is Andy. And we're Mouse Out of the House. Howdy, howdy, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we're going to be exploring Bolt Castle in Alexandria Bay, New York, which has a tragic love story behind it. So, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our adventures. Our adventure started with a ferry ride from the mainland over to Bolt Castle. The ride was very pleasant with ample seating and a lovely view from all sides. We got some lovely views of the exterior of the castle, pump, and boathouse as we were coming around to the dock. The view of the back castle had all of us excited to see the inside, and the ride went by faster than expected, and before we knew it, we were on land. We decided to start exploring from the top down as the bottom floor was quite crowded when we first got there. But I have to say the view from the top of the castle was just breathtaking. I mean, you could see for miles up here. As we made our way through the upper portions of the castle, Sarah told me about how the refurbishment of this place was still taking place when she was a kid. And we could still see evidence of the ongoing process of preserving this unique piece of history. They had a multitude of maps and diagrams showing the history of the castle, its founders, and those connected to it. I have to say, this castle is just absolutely stunning. The architecture and finish are just spot on. And as we made our way downstairs, the view of the main room had both of our jaws on the floor. From the all wood staircase to the stained glass dome ceiling, Everywhere you looked, there's just something to fall in love with. And speaking of love, let's talk a little bit about the history of Bolt Castle. The proprietor, George Bolt, born April 25th, 1851, was a hotel magnate, among other things. In 1900, he started construction on what was then one of the largest privately owned houses in the United States. The home or castle was built on Hart Island, a vacation home for Bolt and his family. The castle was meant to be a present to his beloved wife, Louise. Sadly, in 1904, she died suddenly and all construction was stopped. After the death of his wife, George Bolt continued to vacation here until his death, and at which time the castle fell into ruin. Later, it and the boathouse were acquired by Alexandria Bay for one dollar under the agreement that all revenue would be applied to the restoration of the ground and buildings back to their state when construction stopped. Interior rooms on the bottom floor have been restored basically to where they were when construction stopped. You can take a look inside these rooms and it's, it's like stepping into a time capsule. You really get to feel what it was like for the people who lived in this castle and who vacationed here on their summers. The hardwood floor and wood interior, just, I love it. I don't know about you guys, but this is my kind of house or castle, whatever you want to call it. The interior portions of the house, including the kitchen and dining area, were just awesome to see. I love this era of American architecture, and so getting to see a place that's gotten brought back and preserved in this era was just, it was so cool. It's not something you get to do every day. We also really enjoyed getting to see the lower portions of the basement, where they kept the utilities, you know, things that kept the commodities of the house going. And in the next episode, we're going to get to take a closer look at that, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching till the end. We really appreciate your guys' support. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, stick around to the very, very end for a little preview of next time.